Hey, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to enhance and nurture both your inner and outer beauty. I'm wearing my daughter's sweatshirt right now. She's only 11, but she's growing like a weed and she actually has the same shoe size as me, eight and a half US, and she's almost my height and I'm five foot eight. So <laughs> we're in this fun phase where we can almost wear the same clothes, except she'll tell you I stretch all her stuff out. Anyways, <laughs> I needed some stuff. And usually whenever I need to stock up on products or I wanna try things out, I buy it from Sephora in the US, ship it to my parents, and my parents ship it out here. It is a whole process. It costs a ton of money, it takes a bunch of time, and by the time it comes, I'm not even excited for the stuff anymore. So I thought to myself, why don't I just buy from Cult Beauty? Cult Beauty is in the UK. It's a lot like Sephora, but it's a little bit edgier. And if you go to their website, you'll say to yourself, okay, that's what Lauren's talking about. And yes, you'll see, you'll see. So anyways, I thought to myself, you know what? Just buy from Cult Beauty. You've never done it before. Apparently it comes quick and why not give it a try? So my box came and I thought we could just kind of go through it together. I'll show you what I got. And I don't know, I thought maybe it'd be fun. Plus I want to start using this stuff. So I knew if I was going to make this video, I had to make it right now. <laughs> So when I open up the box, which spoiler alert, I already did, it does look quite cute. It has this uh, little cover to it. Go on, try it now. I, I just read that backwards. Go on, try it now. We know you want to. Well, yeah, I certainly do. So I bought a few new things and I sucked up on some stuff that I've had forever. The first one is this Kitsch eye mask. And to be honest, more than anything, I wanted this for when I meditate because I like to just have everything dark and I like to have um, something covering my eyes. I like to just have that weight a little bit on my face. So this brand Kitsch seems to be all over Cult Beauty and I thought, why not try it? It's really, really cheap uh, compared to some of the other types of brands that make these sorts of products, but everything is satin, it's not silk. Next up, I bought two of these bad boys. This is set by the same brand, Kitsch, and these are hair towels. I have a review. Um, oh, ah, am I gonna need scissors? Oh my God. So I have a review up on my channel of using the Akis towel, and it's been amazing, but I've been using it by itself for almost a year now, I think, so I needed some new ones. and. Already, I can tell you these feel very, very, very soft. They're very, they feel great. They have a nice little button, so you wrap it around your head and then you pull it up and you would hook it into this, like this. So it's just going to help to really seep out that extra water moisture from your hair. The Akis one I have worked so well, so I'm assuming that this one would too. It's a microfiber towel. And these were, I, I believe, a lot cheaper. So I have a pink one and a white one. All right, next product, you've probably seen this on Instagram, social media. I had to try it. It's the Drunk Elephant Sweet Biome Fermented Sake Spray. It's a face mist. The reason why I bought this is they were advertising it as being one of those blue light type of products. I need to do a little bit more research into blue light. I don't quite, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's more of a trendy thing or a real thing, but I thought, why don't I get this spray, try it out, do some research, and I'll make a video on it if you're interested in it. So it does have a lot of, it has a lot of great skincare ingredients in it. And there's a lot of fermented ingredients too. Probably not the best idea to try this when it's windy. Um, the fermented ingredients help to break down all the other ingredients. The smaller they are, the deeper they can penetrate into the skin. So if you want, I can do a review on this product. And this is something too you can use after you wash your face. If you wanna sort of tone, I guess, with this, you would have the thought process that these ingredients would seep, deep, seep deeper into the skin, your skin would be damp, so when you put on your other products, they would uh, penetrate better and you get more bang for your buck. So 
that's the whole, that's the reason why a lot of people use sprays before they put on the rest of their products. You also could use the sprays throughout the day just to, type, just to freshen up your skin, to give it a boost of hydration. And since I have such dry skin, that's probably what I would more use it for. But I am going to do some research into the blue light. Next up, I have the Super Goop Play SPF 50. I love this product. Now, if you can't find the Nemu mascara, um, mascara, if you can't find, I need more of that coffee. <laughs> that was actually my first sip of the day. If you can't find the Nemu sunscreen sunblock and you want something that's going to be good for your skin, good ingredients and a great product, this is my recommendation. You can find this in the US so easily. Get the SPF 50 and I couldn't, they, this was the only size they had on the Cult Beauty. In Sephora US, they have this massive tub with a nice pump. That's what I typically like to buy and I will just continually use it year round. But I wanted to get this just to stock up on it and um, just to uh, have it because I love it so much. And actually, I will be honest with you, I had already opened it and tried it when I got it. I was excited and that's why there wasn't a seal on it when I just opened it up. All right, so moving on, we have the Ordinary Buffet Serum. This is full of peptides and oh my gosh, this has, I think this has peptides. Yeah, this is full of peptides. It gl has glycerin in it, which, which is a super hydrator and humectant, urea, great for moisturizing the skin. Tons of uh, sodium hyaluronic, sodium hyaluronic cross polymer, allotoin. I mean, this is just packed with the best of the best ingredients for the skin. So I did run out of this a while ago and I didn't have anymore. So I tried to find it here in Dubai, sold out everywhere. It's hard to find the ordinary products. So that's why I bought it from Cold Beauty. It's so worth buying it and it's dirt cheap. And then I bought two of my faves. This is the Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil by Biosans. Biosans is one of my favorite skincare brands, if not my favorite. And I just love this oil because the vitamin C in it is a great uh, vitamin C derivative. It's very effective and powerful and the bottle is pink. Now, when I've used this in the past, the bottle has always been green. And vitamin C's should be in a dark bottle, otherwise they can oxidize within and that can cause the formula to go rancid and to degrade. So, uh, let me just check my other one. You know what, I did see it. It was pink on the screen, but I didn't think anything of it. Okay, I'll be messaging Biosans to find out what exactly is going on here and why the bottle is pink. I feel like sunlight would get into that, don't you? Mm, it looks dark on camera. All right, I'm gonna have to figure that out paid a lot of money for that. <laughs> I did get these eyelashes because I thought they looked really pretty. And I mean, I used to always wear eyelashes since 2020 happened. I haven't as much, sorry, that's some maintenance people going by, but I thought these were so pretty and I like to have eyelashes that more just go on the sides. So I have a few events coming up and I thought, why not get a new pair? got my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. This is amazing for the skin. As you can tell, I really love peptides. Peptides just, they go into the skin and they kind of trick the skin into thinking there's an injury. So your, your body starts producing more collagen in that area, it jump starts the collagen and you get firmer skin. So I put as much peptides on my skin as I possibly can. So I can see a bunch of my brothers, but Jack's not here. Sorry guys, he's at baseball. <laughs> That's my life. So lastly, I bought four of the oat cleansing balms from the Inky List. Now I have to say, I've been promoting this, not promoting it, but I guess kind of promoting it. I've been talking about this a lot on my uh, Instagram lately and everyone is buying it. And then I have bought four of them from Cult Beauty. The day I received the Cult Beauty box, 
Sephora and Middle East announced that they're selling these now. They're selling the inky list. So I did not have to go through all of this. I could have just bought it here. Didn't know that, now I do. And in Dubai, it's marked up a bit. It is $10 usually in the US, here it's 14. So lastly, they sent me two little samples. We have the Askia London Bedtime Beauty Boost. Have you ever heard of this brand? I haven't. And also one called Emma Hardy Moringa Light Cleansing Gel. So I don't know anything about these brands. I have no idea if the ingredients are good in here or not. But if you've heard of it, let me know. And if there's anything I just showed you that you'd love a review on, or I'm definitely gonna do a video on the Biosense follow-up because that's really interesting to me. But anything else, just let me know. And that was my cult beauty order, and I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new here, why don't you check out my playlist on my skincare routines right here.